Discs is the home for Gen Z to discover and share music. It started really simply, which is that um, discovering music was really difficult. Um, you know, with technology making it easier for anyone to become an artist, we're seeing 60 to 80,000 songs getting uploaded every single day to streaming platforms like Spotify, and really no way to go through them. We really just wanted it um, to be a tool to help people discover music, curate for themselves, and have a little bit more control in the process. The early version of Discs, we didn't have infrastructure, we didn't have a server. Um, I'm an iOS engineer by trade, and so everything was extremely scrappy. We were just storing things on the device itself. Um, and even with that, we were fortunate to have top the app store charts. Um, but when we realized the vision of our product was beyond um, the capabilities of just the mobile app, we obviously had to look for a infrastructure service provider. And so we were really fortunate to bring on Rish and our backend lead, um, who's also our founding engineer. And he had great experience working with DigitalOcean in the past. Um, and so he suggested it. And I feel like when you're using DigitalOcean, like you don't feel like you need to be like one of those engineers whose knowledge of things uh, in computing is so abstruse and esoteric and hard to understand. Um, it makes like all these complicated things like a lot easier to approach and understand. And then, so how we're using App Platform is basically we have this Python web server and we set up some initial configuration inside of it. Um, probably it was set up following some of Dio's guides. Um, and then we kind of just give that, package it up and give it to App Platform. And App Platform takes care of like running it, uh, giving us metrics, uh, rolling back if things go wrong um, and notifying us when things go wrong as well. The last thing you want to do as like an SMB is having to be blocked because of technical reasons or because you don't know how to spin up infrastructure. Like the most important thing is figuring out if there is any validity in the business. Um, we had a really pressure cooker situation because we are a part of Y Combinator and the program was three months. And so within three months, we really had to figure out the next evolution of our product. We had to build the app from the ground up. We had to spin up the server API and the infrastructure, and it really allowed us to just move at lightning speed and um, make our milestones happen because we didn't have to think about the nitty gritty of how things work and configure it ourselves. It was just extremely frictionless. But we also feel like we've just barely scratched the surface of what we want to do. And so, you know, the really, really the next step is um, we've validated, I guess, that there is a market and there is a generation of people that want a new music experience. Um, and what we want to do and achieve is actually just solidify ourselves as the home for all things music, sort of the one-stop shop, if you will, for this generation of um, music consumers.